Governor Healy's budget proposal went through a public hearing recently, and the state auditor was not happy with her office's funding level. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has where that funding level stands in comparison to other constitutional offices. Auditor Diana DiZaglio is looking to expand her office's capabilities, but she won't be able to grow in the way she has planned with the funding proposal in Governor Healy's budget. The auditor has plans to hire 83 more employees to expand the auditing capabilities her office has. However, she raised concerns in front of the Joint Committee on Ways and Means about what she believes are funding inequities found in the governor's budget. When it comes to the governor's budget and constitutional officers, the Attorney General's office would receive a 9.2% increase. The Inspector General's office, a 9.5% increase. The Secretary of State, a 10% increase. And the Treasurer's office, a 4.8% percent increase. This is in contrast to the auditor who is slated to only receive a 2.1 percent increase. Desaglio believes more money is needed to provide cost of living adjustments to employees and to complete audits that were requested. Desaglio said in her testimony on the budget bill, as the auditor's office, we are in the business of helping government work better, of identifying waste and inefficiency to save money that can be invested by the legislature to create a greater return on investment for our our people. Now, there was no mention of the auditor's ongoing efforts to audit the legislature, including the ballot initiative the auditor is spearheading in her capacity as a private citizen. 22 News reached out to the governor's office for a comment on this issue, but had not heard back by news time. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.